All right, what I got drawn here is a real simple little drawing. It's a coil and it's an upright of an iron tattoo machine. And they usually, the upright that holds the front contact uh, in place, the frame material runs right up beside the coils in most cases except for in a fusion where it's linear and it, do, it doesn't matter because you, your magnetic bloom is not interfered. What I mean by magnetic bloom is is that this being positive and this being negative when this coil is charged it has field lines that do this. You can't see them. I wish you could but they go, no, they go no, north and south all the way around the whole coil, okay? And this is this this magnetic field that goes all the way around the whole coil, I call these are the magnetic field lines, but also I call it magnetic bloom. And what happens is is this magnetic bloom, if it if it is interfered by any kind of ferrous material, meaning 1018 steel, any kind of any kind of steel. I don't care. The better the steel, the more it's going to interfere. That's the reason I use brass, aluminum. Shoot, you can use anything except steel if your frame upright that holds your front contact is anywhere inside, anywhere close to this magnetic bloom. This magnetic bloom will get on this side we'll get a flat spot and it'll turn this nice orbital bloom that, and it'll just give it a big flat spot. It'll just kill that much of the bloom on that one side and what happens is is that when your armature bar goes down and your bloom is being disturbed by your by the upright on an iron frame, what it does is you've only got half of that coil, so you're getting a heavy pull on one side of your armature bar as it goes down. You're getting a heavy pull on this side, and you're getting little to none on this side, so what happens is, is your armature bar actually makes a twist as it moves down and then of course it has to flex back. Does that make sense? It does to me. You don't want to disturb your magnetic bloom by having ferrous material in and around your coils. Period. So when you see tattoo machines that are built out of 1018 cold finished steel and they have an upright that's anywhere close to your magnetic bloom or next to your coils, just say no.